Hey everyone, I just thought I'd do a quick quick explanation of how I play the dice game or the, the purse game. And uh, so I take these little bags to all of my parties, whether they're a Scentsy party, a Grace Adele, or a Velada party, and they are numbered in the corner, 2 through 12. And I just set them up as part of my party setup at the beginning of the party, and I don't really say anything about them until about midway through. And so I just, you know, when everybody's really involved in smelling scents or trying different purses or what have you, then I get everybody's attention and I tell them that they're going to have a chance to win a prize. And so I give them the dice, I tell them they're going to roll the dice, and whatever number they roll, they take the corresponding bag. I also tell them that they can't look in the bag until everybody is done rolling. Um, once, oh, and, and if somebody happens to roll a number that's already been rolled before, then they have to roll again until they get a number that hasn't been rolled. Um, once everybody has the bags in hand, I tell them that all of the bags have a prize in them. And they range from a Scentsy Warmer down to a um, Scent Circle, if it's a Scentsy Party, or maybe um, a Clutch down to a Clip-On. Um, if it's a Grace Adele Party, you get the idea. But you just do something that you feel like you can do, and each bag, again, has a prize in it. And um, I tell them that the prize that they hold in their hands actually can be theirs if... They Well, if they would like to actually look in the bag and see what prize is in the bag, then that prize can actually be theirs if they book a party with me. Now, there is a catch. They have to book the party or, and ho well, host the party within the next two months. And uh, it has to, well, it can be an online party, a home party, a Facebook party, um, a catalog party, basket party, whatever. Just as long as it's a qualifying party. I don't really care. So, anyway, um... So they have the, the, the bag in hand, and I just tell them, you know, you don't need to decide right now. Um, I'm not going to have you open the bags just yet. I want you to just think about it. And I just kind of go about my business for the next three to five minutes and let them kind of think about it. And then I say, okay, is there anybody who would like to look in the bag, claim their prize, and host a party? Um, or book a party, rather. And you'll always have at least one or two people that are going to do it. And sometimes I've had up to four and five at a party. So um, anyway, once um, they've decided, the people who don't want to host a party or don't want to claim their prize and host a party, they actually just turn their bags in um, back into you. And the, the rest of the people, then you have them at the same time go ahead and look in their bag and take out their prize. And so they're just pre-printed little slips of paper. And um, it says, by choosing to host a party, you have won a, and then whatever it is. And um, I always put the grand prize in the bag number two. That's just kind of what I always do. And um, anyway, then I tell them, great, you have won a such and such. And when you host your party, I will bring um, the warmer of your choice to that party or if I happen to have a bunch of things in stock that I need to get rid of, then I'll say, I'll send you a list of the warmers that you can choose from, and I will bring that warmer with, with me to the party that you host. Um, and, oh, let me see. Um, oh, and the, the cool thing is, is that usually um, you're going to get bookings pretty pretty easily from this and it's going to keep you in parties so that you continuously have parties that you're going to and you can do this you can do this game at every party even if there are some of the same people there that maybe were at the last party you can still do it I've totally done it um, I've used this approach for booking parties for the last few years and it's works it has worked great for me and it's just always easier to get bookings um, at a party than any other way. So I encourage you to try this or something like it when you're at your next party and hopefully it'll work for you. If you have any additional questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm not sure if I covered everything because this is like my sixth or seventh take because I didn't have enough room on my phone and I kept trying to make more room. And um, anyway, so I've tried this several times. So I, I hope I haven't left anything out. Um, in this final take and you guys um, have a great weekend and good luck booking parties and um, take care of yourselves and take care of your families and I'll talk to you later. Thanks!